We have the outside of the Swift Conqueror 480. First we have the gas locker just here. So we have space in here for two bottles. Regulator just sits up the top here and then the hose comes off the regulator and then is screwed into the propane bottle and tightened with a gas spanner. Bottle on and off on the top. Do make sure that the bottle is off for travel. Also in here we have the spare wheel and the corner steady winding handle. Next we have the flue for the Aldi boiler. Do not need to do anything with this, just make sure that nothing is obstructing it. And then water into the van at this point here. Just pull on the blue trigger to remove and then push to put it back in again. Then we have the battery locker just here. External TV slash satellite point just here. Mains hook up just here. And then sitting behind that is the isolator key point for the motor mover. And the red key is just sitting beside the battery at the moment. Obviously this needs to be inserted to power up the power touch mover. Grey water drains just here. Then we have the fridge vents, the header tank fill for the toilet, and then the cassette toilet itself just here. Standard fit for cassette on wheels with an extendable handle. And to drain the header tank down, we have the bung just here. Fixing points for a bike rack. Weight plate just there, that also gives you tyre pressures and the wheel nut torque settings. External main socket just there. Access underneath the bench seat just here. And then the external barbecue point. If you're going to use this, attach the hose of the barbecue to the barbecue point with a Jubilee clip, and then it will then insert into here and lock into place, and then you'll be able to turn the gas on. To release it, just push the collar towards the caravan, and it will then pop back out again. This model of caravan is also fitted with Alco trailer control, just here. And then the fairly standard now, Alco stabiliser.